Hey guys, it's KJ48, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Seven Days to Die. This is going to be episode 78, and um, I'm getting a little tired of Hey Guys, welcome back to whatever. I I want to come up with a name for you guys, uh, like as my viewers, subscribers, fans, I don't know what to call you, uh, probably all of the above. Uh, what do you think I could call you guys as part of like this crew of people that are watching my videos? Uh, let me know in the comments if you have any good ideas, because um, I definitely want to call you guys something. The Hey Guys thing is just like, you know, it was cool for a while, but now I want to do something a little different with that. But uh, for now, let's just come on over here and start working on our base. Or continue working on it, depending on how you look at it. Alright, so we should probably work on this from the inside. So let's do that. Uh, actually, I should probably assess damage, but... I have a feeling that uh, zombies are going to break their, like, are going to, like, start attacking and I'm not going to want to, like, lose my, any parts of my base. So, um, this whole bottom part needs to be solidified, by the way. I'm not going to replace anything that's not broken. I'm going to let the zombies uh, break them themselves. Uh, well, maybe I should replace the windows. I mean, that's kind of a joke. Somebody said if you duck... Um, you actually attract less zombies even when you're doing something that does make noise. So, I think what I'm going to do is, while I'm here in the hub city, I will just stay ducked the entire time. How about that? How does that sound? How does that grab you? Uh, we're definitely going to go home today. I'm praying to God my mini bike is still there. Because, um, I'm a little nervous. People said, like, uh, you know, there's a lot of things that could happen to mini bike between... You know, the fact that it's been all night. Actually, we're going to have to go back pretty soon. I'm going to run out of, uh... I'm going to run out of stuff to build with. Do I have any more pipes on... Oh, I got nothing. Ah, oh, crap. I thought I oh, wait, here we go. I was going to say. Rebar. There we go. That's fine. Let's just stay ducked here, then. And, uh, we're just going to play... We're going to play, you know, smooth and smarmy. Just stay off the radar. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, I am putting this up the same day I'm recording it. This is uh, Wednesday, uh, the 25th, I believe, the day before um, Thanksgiving. By the way, uh, I hope you all have a nice Thanksgiving tomorrow. Well, actually, I'll be putting up a... Oh, no, actually, tomorrow. Tomorrow, guys, will be the season finale of Seven Days to Die End Times. Um, for those of you who have not been watching the, uh, the, the roleplay series and... If you care about spoilers, cover up your ears for a few minutes. Okay. Um, the bandits are going to be attacking uh, in episode 10, and it's going to be crazy. It's going to be crazy. You guys are not going to want to miss this episode. This is the season finale, although um, this is what brings me back to what I was saying before. Uh, yeah, so I just read on the dev tracker, uh, Mad Mole just made a post a couple hours ago, I think, maybe an hour ago, where he said uh, earliest... Alpha 13 is coming out is next weekend. Um, they said that they're really pushing for next weekend. They're going to take four days off here for the holidays, which, you know, they deserve because they've been busting their asses. Um, they're going to take four days off for the holidays, kind of recharge. They're doing bug testing. And uh, once that bug testing is going, they are shooting hardcore um, for a for next weekend release. Now, the thing I love about their releases is if it comes out on a Friday, they usually, I think they usually come out with their updates on Fridays, don't they? Well, if they come out on a Friday, I don't care. Like, take till next weekend. That's fine. Because the main thing I'm concerned about is I don't want them coming out with the update in the, on the middle of a week where I can't get a video out. Um, and, you know, they're talking about next weekend. So, you know, hopefully it will come out next weekend. Uh, that would be awesome. Um, we'll just have to wait and see. But, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a downer. It didn't get, uh, it did not get released. Um, it's a huge update. Like, from what I understand, from what they've told, from what, the, from what they've said... Uh, and like from what I can understand from the way the game plays, it's gonna be like a whole new game, guys. For all you guys that are sick of Alpha 12, well, get ready, man, because this is gonna be a whole new game, like for real. So I'm quite excited about this. All right, so we're looking pretty decent here. I do not want them attacking this base, but they don't seem to be worried about me. So let me uh, let me continue upgrading until they decide they want to try and break in. And then at that point we will uh, bail because I a lot of this uh, a lot of this concrete is not uh, settled yet, and if they start beating on concrete that's not settled, they're gonna break it in like one hit. Especially if a cop blows up on it or something. Forget it. 
Now, um... Yeah, you guys told me to ducking even when I'm working. I figured if I was making noise, I was making noise, okay? If I'm making noise, I'm making noise. They're gonna hear me or they're not gonna hear me. I don't see what ducking really does for me. But no, you, um, you guys are totally right. Ducking does make you make less noise. And I actually remember re reading that somewhere. Now that you guys mention it, like back in the day, I kind of remember reading something about that um, when they first came up with the system. So I just, you know, I just kind of forgot, you know? Um, so I'm glad you guys reminded me about that. Thank you very much. It's awesome. So yeah, just stay ducked. Even if you're making noise, guys, you're gonna make less- you're gonna attract less zombies if you're ducking. Now this bottom floor is not going to be anything, um, it's gonna be strictly a defensive floor, uh, meant- basically the bottom floor of my bases are kind of like defensive floors. Uh, they're made to withstand a barrage if the zombies ever get in. I don't build anything important down there. Um, you know, I try and keep them out. But if they're going to break in, then at least, you know, that bottom floor is not going to get them to me or any of my chests. Which is really, really sweet, obviously. Um, my main base was like that. Although I did I did put some uh, some things on my main base on the bottom floor. Like, my the forge started there. Um, I should have made the forge on the, on the, like, an upper floor. But the thing is, by the time I was, what I was going to do is I was going to make a forge on the, on the, um, on the very bottom floor. Of the, like under like in my like mine system, which is pretty pretty much the safe, safest place in my my whole area. But by the time I got to that point, my, my base was so solidified, I wasn't really worried about it. Um, I am worried about this base. I'm in the hub city. This is no joke. So we're not gonna be uh, we're not gonna be playing games here. All right. So you guys excited? Are you guys uh, how disappointed are you for Offer 13? I mean, like that's kind of a bummer, right? But you know. Kind of, it's kind of like, you know, like I said, for me personally, um, I can find fun in this game for Alpha 12 for another year. Like, I can find fun. The only reason this world's getting a little slow for me is because... It's basically because... Um, because I can't start over. I don't want to start over with Alpha 13 so close. So, I have ladders at home. You know, it really bothers me making ladders when I have them at home. But I guess I could burn them. Better. You know, let's go one more spot with this. Shit, I just put these down, didn't I? Mother fuck, freaking scummy, effing, <laughs> damn it. Uh, all right, whatever. All right, I got an idea. We'll put the ladders down here. Okay, and then what we'll do is break out these stairs, and we'll just put down more cement. Not really a big deal. Just breaking out extra cement, that's kind of pointless. It's easier just to put down cement. Man, I really hope my mini bike's still there. Shit. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna need about... I don't know, six of these. Alright, that looks good. There we go. And just to make this a little bit better, let's go ahead and make more, one more of these. And there we go. You know what we need down here too is some light. No, I don't like the, I don't like the high up torches. I like torches like medium level. All right. So we're still okay down here. I might as well just keep patching up these uh these walls. Like I said though, if um See, the thing is, I don't have a quick way to get out of here if they start beating on these walls. We should leave one of these walls open so I could just run out the run out the window. I'm gonna need, I'm gonna need a quick way in and out of here. So basically, if they start... Because if they start beating on the walls, like, if the zombies start beating on these walls right here, they're gonna break through them instantly. And I need to get the hell out of here so they don't break down all those, all those walls. So I'm just gonna run out of there. And that'll be my quick escape. I gotta tell you guys, I didn't think sneaking would be this effective. I figured, I'm in the hub city, I am breaking stuff, I'm gonna make noise, and I just need to accept it. Um, not really the case. Not really the case. Now I wonder how many people in the comments are gonna say, Cage, I've been telling you to do that for, for like six months now, you never listen, like, just, just wait. 
<laughs> well, you know what? You're probably right, and I am sorry. Okay. Could have used this when I was playing Star Snipe and Royal. Man, we we uh we broke into Hub City. And we were just building like madmen. We didn't we didn't sneak. We didn't think about sneaking. Like I said, I figured if you're standing up using a nail gun, and the nail gun makes a certain amount of noise. It's gonna make the certain amount of noise whether you're sitting down or not. Like it should, honestly, from a like a realistic standpoint, uh, me ducking shouldn't make the least bit of difference. I'm glad it does, but you know it shouldn't. In my defense. All right. Yeah, man, that role play. Oh, it really came out good. I'm really proud of it. The problem with the role play is it takes a lot of time. I don't mind putting in effort. I'm not lazy. Like, I love doing this. And it's a lot of fun. But I, there's only so many hours in the day, there's only so much I can do. And that roleplay ate up a lot of time. Like, a ridiculous amount of time. It did well on the views, though. It was, it was worth it. It's not like, it's not like only a, you know, a thousand people watched it. It did pretty well on the views. And uh, it, it came at a time when I really needed something with Seven Days to Die that was exciting. Because for some reason, I never thought to come to the Hub City. I don't know why. I mean, never thought to come to the Hub City. I should have came here a long time ago. But um, it really, like, helped me with, you know, having people watch my my Seven Days to Die stuff at a time when nobody wants to watch Seven Days to Die. And if they are, they're one of the millions watching uh, one of the other big YouTubers that have started Seven Days to Die. A couple big YouTubers have started Seven Days to Die. And um, it's really hurting a smaller channel like myself but um you know what they won't jump on alpha 13 like i will i'll be all over alpha 13 that's where that's where i'll get a lot of growth so that's cool all right i can't believe how painless this is jesus I'm wondering if I actually fought enough here and cleared out enough of the zombies so they're not respawning. Sometimes the hub city does that. Um, there's been times when I didn't sneak and there'd be no zombies in the area. They would just like stop coming for a while. Or maybe it's because I'm ducking. I don't know. I, I really couldn't tell you. All I know is I'm ducking and it's working and that's making me happy. Now there's still major parts of this uh, build that are weak. All these... Uh, all these parts down here that are just regular brick or regular stone, that stuff's all weak. It's all weak. The, the zombies are going to, eventually, they're going to chew right through it. Which is fine. I'm okay with that. We'll just repair it. Or we'll, we'll replace it with uh, the concrete. That's why I don't really care that much if they break in down here. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, actually had enough rebar. Cool. Still got a bit more up top, but... I'm debating if I should even bother protecting against spider zombies. Um, I don't know if I want to, like... Well, I mean, I guess I should make some kind of overhang where I can protect against the hordes. So, yeah, maybe... I'll, yeah, I'll do something like that. I'll do something like that. Look at all these books that I don't need. I need some food. Okay, let's go drop off some stuff up here. See? I stopped ducking and all of a sudden they're, they're attacking. That's amazing. It's amazing. I didn't. Like I said, it doesn't make sense. Just because you're ducking or not, that wouldn't make any kind of difference at all. But it is a game mechanic, and you know, it's it's pretty cool. I like it. I like anything that keeps the zombies off my ass for a while. Put those up there. You know, we might have to go back now. I don't really. Oh, well, there's some more stuff we can do. We 
should get out of here. Yeah, we should get out of here. This base is under attack. I don't need them taking out my walls. Oh, come on. You spawned in here, you dickhead. That's bullshit. Them spawning it. Nothing drives me more crazy in this game than when zombies spawn in my base. God, that burns me up. Ow. You know what we could do? We could extra repair out here. Also, we can kill the zombies and still try and get some more oil. Oh, they actually broke through my, uh... They actually broke some spikes off that. Gotta get these cops. There's my mini bike. What? What? Mini bike. Let's go. We're out of here. Later, losers. You know we're gonna have to figure out a place for this mini bike in, in our little, our little house here. The problem is when the mini bike goes up a ramp, it kind of like shoots off it, like it's a rocket, which is annoying. Because otherwise, I would just make a ramp up to a second story window. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this thing. I'm actually going to have to think about something, too, because Autumn doesn't want to play again until uh, Alpha 13. She's kind of burned out a little bit on this game. She doesn't love it as much as I do. Um, so she's kind of burned out on it. She really doesn't want to play until Alpha 13, which means I'm going to have to fill up all the Seven Days to Die stuff with single player. I'll probably go every other day once the roleplay series is over. But um, I still want to play more. i gotta have I got to have Seven Days to Die on my channel. Man, Alpha 13 is going to be a whole new game, guys. A whole new game. Rolling through the countryside. Love it. Coming through. Stupid hornet still follow me. I'm really tired today for some reason. I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. It's a hard time of year for me. No, I just ran over something's head. High five! No, oh, no high five? Fine, be a dick. Can't believe they actually broke out some spikes in that in that building. Maybe I should try my new uh, my new wall idea. Yeah, that'll work. I could probably do it. Well, the thing is I don't have enough iron, and I really don't I really don't want to like mine for hours just to like maybe make part of a wall. And then after 13, come out. Um, like, what's today? Today's Wednesday. This is going up Wednesday. Tomorrow will be role play. Um, and then it's going to start being every other day for seven days to die, I think. Unless I can talk my wife into playing playing with me. Um, so every other day. So starting uh, Friday. Friday, Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday. Four, actually, only four more videos. Probably. Hopefully. Got anything in here? So only, um, oh, by the way, what did we get from that, those cops, man? I got a couple nice shotguns here. Let's take the bullets out. Nice pistol. Very good. So many nice shotgun parts. I can't throw these guns out even though I don't, I know I don't need them. Oh yeah, I have some more iron down here. Cool. 26. Uh, now what was I saying? Oh yeah, so probably four more videos. Maybe Sprinkle did some husband and wife somewhere um, in there. Not really sure. Um, yeah, because I don't know if I can do... I don't think I could do every day of single player. I mean, I am reinvigorated with this world. Uh, the idea to move to the hub city has really got me interested in this world again. But I don't know if it's got me interested to where I, I could do a video every day. How is my... Oh god, that's what I'm saying. I was just worrying about that. Alright, you... There we go. I don't care about the rest of my stuff. Let it break. I'll make new stuff. This stuff's only freaking blue anyway. Uh, 
Okay. Let's go get some food. Oh, you know what? It's not down here anymore, is it? Shit. I put it back up top. I'm probably gonna stay here for the night. Um, I'll probably mine, do some mining, maybe cut down some more trees. Uh, cause yeah, it's time to start working on the second wall, I think. Because, like, this, the zombies broke out that, that first, uh, yeah, actually no, before we do the second, well, hold on a sec, let me think about this. If we do extra walls, I don't need to put the overhang where it's gonna be. I'm gonna have to think about this off camera. I have some, I have a couple really good ideas, I just, I'm just not sure which way I want to go with it. Alright. Um, pistols. Pistol rounds. What am I looking at here? Put some paper up here. There we go. I can't make any more of that, why not? Do we need more brass? I think I have some more brass. I thought I had more brass, yeah we got more brass. That's what we need for the magnum bullets, right? Let's see what we need for the magnum bullets. Oh yeah, brass. Alright. Let's get that going right now. Oh god, I didn't even eat. I came up here to freaking eat and I didn't eat. That's... Typical KG48. Oh, look at, look at that. Look at that. Two of these things, that's all you need. Although I'll go with three. I'm gonna take this food too. Okay, so what do you guys think? What can I call myself? Um, I've been watching a lot of Paul Source Jr. because, like, you know, he's one of my favorite Let's Players. And he calls his people Survivors, which I just love that name, by the way. Survivors. And I was like, yeah, that's a cool idea. I need a name for my viewers that I could call you guys. What can I call you guys, though? Like, I have no idea. I have no idea what I can call you. That's fine. Let's take that. Nah, whatever. Let it sit there. Oh boy. Ah, oh, fuck. I right, forget it. Take this out. Okay, so let's put in this and this. There you go. Yeah, I'll stay here for the night. Like I said, I'll do some mining probably. Maybe I'll do it on stream. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's really, I really don't want to mine. Like, it's just kind of like, you know, I like mining in this game, and it's and it's not bad. But I've done a lot of mining on this world, and like, this world's only gonna be up for another week, and I just feel like mining is like such a waste of freaking time. But I guess it's something I gotta do. We'll see. If I do it, maybe I'll do it on stream. Where the hell am I going? I'll go this way. Pay attention. All right, guys, we are coming up to the end of this video, so I'll probably do some mining off camera. Um. Yeah, and that's going to be it for episode 78. We'll see you next time for episode 79. Until then, take it easy.